Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM. Today we are going to be building rafts. So the first thing you are going to need to do is go into the woods and get some sticks to use for your raft. You're going to want to think about the size of these sticks as you're collecting them because your raft has to fit inside whatever bucket you're going to be testing your raft in. And I also used a variety of different sizes so that I could kind of experiment. Um, I think my first raft I'm gonna make with big sticks, but then I got some small sticks as well in case I wanna try a smaller one. You are also going to need five feet of yarn. So I have my ruler and a pair of scissors to cut five feet of yarn and a bucket with some water in it so that you can test your raft. We're also going to be adding some weight to our raft to see how much it will hold. So I'm going to include um, some light weights. I have washers in my classroom, but here at home, I think I'm gonna be using quarters to see how many quarters my raft can hold for 30 seconds before it sinks. So let's get started. Now my raft held 20 quarters, but I'm going to be honest with you, I did not wait the 30 seconds between each test and toward the end, it was really sinking on me. So I think if I had waited 30 seconds in between each group of five quarters that I was adding, that it may not have survived quite as long. So make sure that when you're doing this, you actually count to 30 between each time. But I didn't want you to have to sit through that whole thing as I waited a couple minutes and tested it. So this worked out better than I thought it would. I will say I used a dead tree. I don't know if a green tree would work any better, but um, I did not want to take down branches from a living tree. So I picked them up off the ground. So I'm curious to see how yours come out. <laughs> 